Okay, so let's say I ask you to find cosine of 300 degrees. All right, here's the way we did it in, in the previous chapter. The first thing we did was we graphed the angle. And I even wrote these down for you guys to do it. You graph the angle. Well, if here, over here is 180, here's 270, to get to 300, it's going to be that point right around there, right? Just like an extra 30 degrees off of 270. Then the next thing I need to do is draw my unit circle, and I need to say, what point does this correspond to? And the only way we knew how to figure that out was we looked at our first quadrant. And remember, there's three points in the first quadrant. Right? We had this point, which is 1 half square root of 3 over 2, square root of 2 over 2, comma square root of 2 over 2, and then here we had square root of 3 over 2, comma 1 half. Right? You had three points, where this was the point for 30 degrees, this was the point for 45 degrees, and then for 60 degrees. Now, then we looked at it and we said, what is this like a reflection of? And you said, oh, well, this is a reflection of my 60 degree point, but since it's in the fourth quadrant, my y coordinate's negative. Do you guys remember? And then so you wrote this point was 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2, and that's negative. So to find the cosine was the x value of that point, which was equal to 1 half. And that was kind of a lot of work. It really was. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use reference angles. Instead of graphing it, finding the coordinate point, knowing your unit circle, let's just use reference angles. So ladies and gentlemen, 300 degrees is in what quadrant? Fourth quadrant. So when we have the fourth quadrant, how do we determine what the reference angle is? So the reference angle, theta prime, is going to equal 360 degrees minus theta. So theta prime equals 360 minus 300, which is equal to 300 degrees, right? I'm sorry, it's equal to 60 degrees, right? So what's so important, ladies and gentlemen, about reference angles? The reason why we do them is because once you can figure out what the reference angle is, you don't need to figure out where this angle corresponds to. All you guys need to do is calculate the reference angle. So what's cosine of 60 degrees? What's the cosine of 60 degrees? The only one you guys need to know is that fourth quadrant, right? What's the cosine of 60 degrees? 60 degrees is right here. The cosine is what? 1 half. So do you guys see that the cosine of 300 is equal, or cosine of theta is equal to the cosine of its reference angle? See that? That's what, This is like a shortcut for you guys to do. Rather than having to graph the angle, graph the angle, figure out the coordinate point, where it relates to on the unit circle. Determine the reference angle, and you got the exact same coordinate point. OK? I don't have